things, my fair folk, literally, we're in the fairy realm. It's Sure Shot. Mr. Sure Shot. And I'm playing some good folklore. In the last part, our mother went missing. And we're here to play as Ellen. And now we're in the fairy realm to hopefully find her. In this episode, maybe we will. So, let's, uh, and right now I'm in a safe haven, so there's no enemies about. So let's talk to some of these, these fairies. This is the land of the dead. It is known as the Netherworld in young legend in your legends. The Netherworld is the name you kind you you your kind used to distinguish this world from your own. Ha ha! The funny thing is, some of us even call it that. Okay, interesting. What do you have to say? Today is the day of Sam Ween. It's a special day for the dead. On this day alone, the living can enter the netherworld. You aren't granted much time, so you must seek out the dead quickly. If whoever you seek died recently, they may still be around. Oh, so that may be a good thing for us, so we can find our mother. Our mother? What do you love to say? Anything you'd like to know? Uh, okay, what about battles? What do you have to say? Battles aren't simply a matter of tossing folks at the enemy. Lock on your aim with the R with the L1, like I said in the last episode. Press the R2 button to invade. Many different tricks to, to try. Okay, cool. Folks sometimes drop glowing objects when, when you defeat them. Be sure to pick them up. They can be quite useful. Green ones are for HP recovery. Others are are picture book pages or food for absorb for absorb folks. Okay. What are the messengers? Living ones like you who don the cloak and can transfer the realms are messengers. That's because you serve to pass along messages between the living and the dead. Souls of the dead become folks. I think it's folk. You know, I'm going to just say folk. Become folk. After that existence, they return to the ground. No one knows where they go. Okay, cool. Some interesting revelations there. Um, let's talk to Scarecrow. Ellen, there's someone ahead. Hurry, I believe it's your mother. Hurry, Ellen. There's not much time left. Okay, Scarecrow, we'll go, we'll go. Uh, where is she? Oh, is that her? Oh boy, cutscene. Mother. I was so very lonely. I'm so glad I finally found you. Mother? Please, mother, look this way. Seventeen years ago, I'll never for forget. The night of Sam Ween. It's your fault. What do you mean? Why you? You horrid girl. You're possessed. It's all your fault. I'll kill you. Hehe, <laughs> that was a close one. You almost died. Sam Ween has ended. This is the real world. That wasn't Mother Idol after all, was it? Wee <laughs> Now, nah, that woman tried to trick you. She said I was possessed. 17 years ago? Sam Ween? Revenge? Please tell me, what should I do? Wee <laughs> To find out about the past, listen to the voices of the dead. To the netherworld again? How can I get there? Find a memento of the dead and offer it to the henge that will open the door to the netherworld. Uh oh, morning's almost here. Good night, Ellen. See you after dusk.
Yes, I would love to save the game. Now some interesting stuff we just saw there. And save game. Well, that was Ellen's story, so why don't we move on to Mr. Keats covering a string of murders. The mysterious phone call to the mag magazine where Keats worked said, Only help. Fairies will kill me. Doolin Village. Cliff of Seed. Despite a suspicion that could be a prank, Keats sets out for Doolin. Is it you, Mother? I wanted so very much to see you. It was very hard without you. I was so young. But that doesn't matter anymore. Why won't you answer me? Excuse me. What? Are you the one who telephoned me? Huh? Who are you? Why would I...? Hmm. Perhaps not. What about the lady over there? <gasps> Mother! Hey, no, oh. don't talk. She's dead. We've got to call the police. Let me go! of the dead. Tell me this is a joke. So she's run so she's run off to the beach. Looks like we'll be meeting a corpse. Damn. Nice way to rele relevate that. So the question is, who could have killed her and why? I don't know. Bear go bear go chase after her. And I have to say, I freaking love Keats. Like he is probably one of my uh What do you what do you call those guys? Uh not Okay, so there's like a protagonist and there's like a do tra do tagonist a, a do tagonist I think that's what they're called I could be wrong, uh but he's one of my favorites at least when it comes to gaming. Uh, and you'll see why later on. But we got another cutscene, of course. Oh my God! What the. So there is life here. What are you doing here? A woman called at my magazine. When I thought I had found her, she fell from the cliff and this girl went to shock. With her? Hmm, she may have a link. She's out cold. What do we, what do, we do? For now, is there a place we can stay? What a dump. Probably fit for a dog. At least she has a bed. I don't even, ha I don't even have that. Ugh, my body aches. My questions can, be can wait for tomorrow. Want to know more? Seek the pub. The people here are out of this world. What was that? Am I hallucinating? Some kind of prank. Well, any lead is better than no lead. Time to investigate. Time is indeed. 
We gotta go back to the pub. Wait, were we living in that? Wow. Man, you are right. That is definitely not fit for even a dog. Jeez. But, let's go into the pub. Let's see what other encounters we'll see this time. Another visitor? What is it now? A gentleman? From the magazine, someone phoned him. And Colt magazine, what nonsense. You speak lucidly for figments of the imagination. Nice special effects, too. <laughs> no, this is all real. We're here to help you determine your recourse. Go to the netherworld and seek the dead. Your guide awaits you beyond the door. Okay. What do you have to say this time, Frig Darig? Or Fur Darig? On top of that hill, in, in the village is a hedge that created by the ancients. Somehow, once each year on Samhain night, the path that goes beneath the hedge opens up by the human calendar that occurs on November 2nd today. Okay. Oh, good, mate. Oh, hello. Hello, my name is Jimmy Squarefoot. D don't believe you can meet the dead, D do you? Well, just have a look outside. You w won't believe what's g going on out there. Okay. What do you have to say this time? Yeah, have a conversation. My name is Gonkun. Think of me as the barman of the pub at night. We're open every night, but can't seem to attract many people, living ones at least. And so year of a uh, past, souls are ye, where then the netherworld is the place. Belgium, the invisible waiting for you. Wait a minute. Bel... Is it... I can't pronounce that. Bel... Ge... Bel... I'm gonna have to look this up later. I'm just gonna say, uh... Bel... Je... Bel... Belge. I'm just gonna say Belge. Belge, the, Belge, the invisible, the invisible is waiting for you. It must be some kind of plot to lure you into the netherworld. Hehe, <laughs> not exactly a cool one, are you now? Oh, I just, I'm sorry, I, I just love her design. It's just so beautiful. My name is Freezy, crier for the dead. Such a sad thing. Someone else from the village has died. What shall come of this? Wait, someone else died? So... Oh, really? So someone else died before Ellen's mother, or quote-unquote Ellen's mother. Good evening. Headline mystery, mystery voice revealed? My apologies, but do oblige me by following my lead. Well, you're certainly gentle as spirits go, but that get-up going to a fancy dress? Even invisible- oh, was that- was the afternoon mystery solved? No, and I'm without a clue. May I suggest an interview with the deceased? I am Belge, and I can instruct you on making contact. Spiritualism died out a hundred years ago. We can't print rubbish about channeling and and sciences. Channelings and... What is that? Sciences? Senses? Sciences? I don't know. I have to look that one up too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> uh, but I sense that you are a man of deep curiosity. Accompany me to the South Hand, where we shall be experiment. Should be most pleased by the results. It seems like the only word I can get right is Sam Ween, because I definitely know that that's how you're, you're supposed to pronounce it. 
I remember the last time I played this game, I thought it was pronounced Sam Hain, Sam Hine, but no, it's Sam Ween, okay? You're supposed to pronounce, you pronounce the H as a W. It's supposed to be Sam Ween, Sam Ween, okay? But, hey, it's okay. We've been expecting you. This way, please. The Oval Hedge, a mysterious megalith monument created by the ancients. What does all this have to do with meeting the dead? I have no time to explain now, sir. We must catch up with her. Her? Who? Okay, let's go inside. Hmm, man, this place really needs some Fano. But let's talk to Belge. Or Belge, I don't know. I'm just gonna say Belge because that's just, it just sounds better. There's someone down there. Can I hear them talking? It's the girl from the cliff, sir. She believes the legend that you can meet the dead? Those legends are not just the delusions of the ancients. They are truths that they have bequinted to us. Tonight, the girl becomes a long awaited messenger between the real world and the netherworld. The netherworld? You mean the land of the dead? Well, this should make, make the front page. So, invisible gentlemen, I suppose you brought me here so that I can win my poltizer? What if you too could acquire that power? All I want is a good story. One cannot survive in the netherworld without gaining a certain power. Hmm. Yeah, for a story like this, I'll do whatever it takes. The girl will obtain a cloak in order to pass through to the netherworld. All you need to do is be near her when she does. When a new messenger is chosen, guardians are also chosen. That is certain to be you. Well, this is interesting. What's happening to that girl? By absorbing the power of the Cloak of Sthi, she has become a traveler of the netherworld. You also hold the same power. <laughs> the land of the dead. Not interested. I prefer, well, something more substantial. In fact, I'm amazed I can even see you. feels real. This is certainly a lucid dream. As you wished, you have attained the powers of a netherworld traveler. Now go and take her from this place, lest she bring disaster to the netherworld. <sighs> but what powers can she possibly have to cause disaster there? She only went to search for her mother. The portal to the netherworld lies beyond here. Go and see for yourself.
Why couldn't we keep that transformation form? Ser that was the coolest shit I've seen. Well, one of the coolest uh, transformations I've seen as of late, okay? Seriously, that was so... Why couldn't we keep that form? He looked awesome. Well, he is already an awesome character, but that form was so awesome. Ah, oh, Man, the transformation scenes are just gawking. I'm sorry, they just are. And I wish we could have kept his form, his form, a nice form, but no, we couldn't, which is stupid, but oh well. What's this? This is the fairy realm. I know this can't be a dream because I don't have this good of an Im imagination. This is an afterworld imagined by the ancients. It's just one of the many realms. The woman you saw on the cliff is just a little further on. I never thought that I'd find myself chatting to the dead. Please hurry. The door will remain open for this night only. What happens then? You'll, you'll, you'll be forcibly returned to your own world. Oh, and be careful of folks. Forks? Folks, they were once human souls, but are aggressive now. Yep, this is looking very familiar. Pretty much the same path that we went before. Let's see. Well, well now, first a live girl, now a live man. Two in one day. Well... Well, we haven't had many live ones coming through, even on Sam Ween of late. Oh, well, yeah, well, this is going to be one of the first. Hmm. Messengers are are go between for the land of the dead and living like a priestess or a medium in your tongue. People have always wanted to see loved ones who have passed on. They use messengers to do that. So we had lo we had live people coming here all the time, despite the danger of losing their souls. Interesting. So, okay, what do you have to say? I have plenty to tell you. I'll enclose important things in brackets when I talk. Okay, these are... Yeah, these are... Okay, yeah, these are the same thing we said before. Okay, so... I think, um, uh, Belge, he told us that... Keats was a guardian, but Ellen was a messenger. So, either, so they probably have different abilities, I'm assuming. Or at least, maybe. Or they're probably just tiles, I don't know. Well, straight off a fairy tale. Yeah, a grim fairy tale, that's for sure. Beware! You, sir, you are not hurt, I hope. What the? It is the energy of their souls or their id. Sir Keats, hold out your hand. Quickly! That's it. Yep. A surge of energy. Hmm. Remember that feeling. I will not always be there to help you. This place is a zoo. What were those things? They are folk. I deform fo a devolved form of the souls of the dead. You are blessed with the ability to absorb their id. An inquisitive man like yourself must be happy to jump into action. I'm just a reporter. Do not be afraid. Your instincts know more than you do yourself. And now we get to fight these guys with Keats. And it's, and it's honestly not that different. It's just the same mechanics just before. Nothing too different. Yep. So we already been... Actually, I think there's something different over here. Uh, and also, I also want to kind of... Uh, <laughs> not really apologize, but kind of like... Because I think my very first episode of this, I was kind of... I don't know, I was a little... I was, I was a little flabbergasted with my words for some reason, but things should be better now because I was tired. I was recording like three in the morning and I was actually uh, recording uh, 
I was recording, uh, what was the other game? I was recording, uh, FIA at that time as well, so I was super tired when I was recording this, so... My words were very flabbergasted, so I couldn't really talk properly. But things should be better now. And it looks like there's nothing new over there, so... You know, it's kind of a waste of time. And... Okay, fine, I'll take you out. And I think the same mechanics apply here, or at least they're... Maybe they're different. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it looks like they're kind of different when it comes to Keats. Uh, no, not really. It's pretty much the same thing as before. And I probably didn't... I also want to say, I probably didn't explain the mechanics too well before, but all it is that, at least for now, since we don't have too many uh, battle mechanics at our disposal, if you press, uh, like that elf before, or not before, oh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot to show this, is that if you, by pressing, uh, uh, L2, you can change the folks you use. Choose a folk and press an action button to pre assign them to pallet locations. So yeah, as you can see, uh, we ha we can change the different locations. Or as you can see, once we capture folk, we can assign them to our action buttons. As you can see, we have the poke. It is short range, non-elemental combo attacks, and we have the kill moths that are just that are just guards that are all around guards. So yeah, and oh, my bad. There we go. Uh, let's close. But that's something I'm going to explain once we actually get more ids on our side, which we only have two right now. Oh, and I took some damage there. Come on. There we go. And we release our karma. We release the poke karma. Very nice. And come on. There we go. Very nice. And, oh, there's more. Oh, oh, my bad. I did not mean to do that. Okay. There we go. Uh, what was I trying to do is... Oh, okay, now it's... Okay, for some reason I assigned my poke to to the axe, so... Okay, fine, whatever. But, uh... By pressing L1, I can home, I can pretty much home on only one enemy at a time. So it would be much easier to attack without, you know, the camera acting weird, like that. And press R I can press R2 to dodge, which is very helpful indeed. Let's attack you. Let's see. There we go. Kill most karma's release. And oh god, there's so many of them. Jesus. Okay. Go. Oh, we should probably get some HP because I'm really low. There we go. Five drops. Uh, come on. Where are you going? Get back here. There we go. And last one. God, the camera. Jeez. There we go. Finally. That should be it. Yep, that's it. Okay. So, with pressing R... Not R. Pressing L1, I can focus on one enemy and I can use uh, R2 to dodge. Pretty much. That's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, cool. Uh, we should be catching up. And Oh, hey, it's the Invisible Man. It's Belge. Is that the girl you met on the cliff? And the dead woman? We don't have much more... We, we, we don't have much more time. The hour of Sam Ween draws to a close. If you want to come back to the netherworld, you'll have to do it like a messenger does. That means probably commuting with the dead and opening a door to the netherworld. Okay. I think these guys are just going to say the same thing. What do you... How about you? Anything you'd like to know? I mean, yeah, this is pretty much the same thing you said before, right? Don't go in the bad. Yeah, yeah. Press L1 to lock on. Yeah, to lock on. And releasing karma. Let's see. Certain conditions make folk you can use grow stronger, such as absorbing the air of the folks many times. Yep, that's pretty much it. So yeah, stuff I already said before, except a little more focused and not flabbergasted, like the last episode. So very lonely. Look this way. Hmm. Isn't that... 
Yes, it's the girl at the cliff. Which means that must be the woman who fell. Why not go and ask her yourself? A reporter observes. Strange. That should be an emotional reunion. What do you mean? Why you? You horrid girl. You're possessed. It's all your fault. I'll kill you. The girl has used up the time that was not that was allow allowed it to her. You too have but little time left. Please talk to the dead who were left behind. Okay. Yeah, what's the deal? Oh, she's pretty. So she came here thinking that she would meet her mother. Exactly. Who are you? I'm just a reporter. Aren't you the one that called me? Called you? I didn't call anyone. You must be thinking of someone else. Oh. Oh, come on. So that's not your daughter? It certainly isn't. I was unable to sell that score from 17 years ago. You called that girl in the hopes of doing so, but only got yourself killed? Killed? I remember now. My, my family. I couldn't bear to lose any more of my family. My daughter is in the village. She will be killed too. Please tell her to leave the village. Your real daughter? Hmm, I don't know. I'm not very trusting of dead people myself. Wow, that's so... Jerkish! There's a photo hidden in a, a Samaric doll in that room. Show it to her. My daughter's name is Suzette. Alright, alright, I'll do it. But first, you have to tell me something. Just what happened 17 years ago? Why are you doing this? And who and who killed you? I... I can't. Hmm. And the plot thickens. A dream? Or not? This is what you meant by a time limit, eh? But nothing was solved. Why was the, mo the woman on the cliff murdered? Who called me at the office? To find the answers, meet the murdered woman again. Find a memento of the dead and offer it at the henge at night. If the dead listen, the door will open. Wait! I must know more! Damn! Okay, so we got some more interesting story revelations. Gotta save it. So it seems like the murdered woman was not her. And Ellen's mother is still missing. Whatever happened, we don't know. But that being said, I think I'm going to end it off here. So next time... We'll be continuing with Ellen, and hopefully we can learn more about, well, not just Sam Ween. We need to learn more about Ellen's background, her mother, and what is the purpose of the fairy realm and all these realms. Yeah, this is Mr. Sure Shot. I'll see you guys next time.